Bonjour à tous. So here I am in the old new bathroom. Remember this one? Apologies for my appearance at the moment. I am just coming out of being not very well at all. Um, for those of you who follow us on Facebook, you'll know that um, I was hit with a really severe migraine attack. Hence why my voice is a little bit low at the moment because it's still there. I am coming out the other side, but it's going to take some time to recover. But I'll just show you what uh, Julian has been up to at the moment. We've been hit with um, some plumbing woes over the last couple of days, um, but Julian's been cracking on nevertheless. Um, so let's show you what, uh, what's going on. So the old bath is coming out, as you can see. And yesterday, Julian drained all the water out of the system and attempted to make some grooves for the new um, water feeds that are going up into the wall, We're putting them into the wall now. There's going to be um, taps for the bathroom and also the shower feeds as well. So two separate um, sets of taps there. And the uh, parts of the wall fell down. <laughs> so yeah, all interesting. So there's a lot more to pack out there again once it's, uh, it's sorted. Um, as ever, things are uh, never straightforward. Um, and then what happened was, there was, uh, once they'd capped off the water feeds, they started leaking. So we came back um, to check a couple of hours and we had yet another leak. So they've got a bit of a slow leak going on at the moment. And um, basically Julian has now turned the water off again and to sort this issue out and another issue that we will show you in a second. Things have done been done okay, but a couple of things have been tightened or they, they're needing extra washers. So we've actually had two leaks. Um, the toilet now has water going to it. But yesterday we had water spurting out of the water feed joint. So that was interesting. And then, Same joint, but further back on, the same water feed, had a slow leak last night. So Julian, again, is draining all the water out of the system. And we'll attend to that water feed, add some additional washers, and hope that that will sol solve the problem. But uh, we have water, once again, going down into the playroom, which serves me to say, really, that when you're doing a renovation, Anything like this, if you're not, um, if you're a novice like us, then maybe better to work top down as we are now doing. And that way, you can be assured that you're not going to ruin what you've done downstairs in situations like this. So here I am. I'm sat just back, chilling in the bed because just that little showing you some progress there, just doing some filming um, has uh, it's just wipe me out so I'm going to take today as much as possible just resting trying not to have really screen time where I can. I'm sat to uh, listening to things like audible um, books online podcasts but my brain is just going 10 to the dozen I'm just worried about how far behind we're now getting even further on the project because I'm not working on it for the last few days um and last night we discovered that Lily had chicken pox. <laughs> it's just, it's like, oh, come on, <laughs> really? <laughs> chicken pox. So it's funny um, that uh, Poppy had chicken pox last year and Lily didn't get it. And now the reverse has happened. And you think the one, one of the advantages of, of having the twins really is that they'd both get everything at the same time. Not so, not so. So we're on Friday now. We're due for another vlog tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping this is just not going to be a short one about me talking. And you'll probably say, actually, Leanne, all of your vlogs are like that. So, yeah, our vlogs are pretty much me just doing that, watching Julian do work. <laughs> we've had all the comments, believe me. We've had the criticisms. But you guys are keeping us going. I am... Um, determined I'm going to do some work tomorrow even if it's just sanding down the bathroom window or something um so yeah 
Hopefully the plumbing woes will be sorted by tomorrow as well. I can see that Julian is getting a little bit frustrated, but he is doing his on-the-job learning, as we are all doing on this project. We both are doing. And, uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. Hey, Julian. Hello. Another day, another mess. Yep. What are you up to? Um, re hang well, not re hanging well, yeah, re hanging the door. Um, because over time, either the, the door frame is kicked out slightly, which means that this door doesn't shut properly and it's catching on the bottom, as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, but worse, it was catching on the side here, it's probably out by about three or four mil at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Um, and not too bad at the top, so we couldn't shut the uh, the bathroom door. So we went a bit extreme with the the saw. And took a little bit off okay. the bottom bit, and then we went old school with the old school with the old plane and that one, and smoothed it. Well, it's a draw knife, isn't it? Yeah, the draw knife. And the same thing, just. The bits off and smooth it out a little bit, mm -hmm. and then gone back modern days and use the sander just to smooth it even more. Hopefully, it will um, shut properly now. Okay. Yeah, it's um, it's a bit just it just gets stuck. Try to open the door, and then it gets stuck, yeah. and you have to kind of sneak through, didn't you? And it's yeah. just another piece to the puzzle. So okay, right. Well, at least somebody has got some energy. <laughs> So I'll leave you, leave you do it and we'll see how it ends up. Okay. Okay. Hey, so we're now Wednesday and um, you may re, uh, for those who are following us a little bit more closely, you may realise that we actually skipped a video um, last Saturday, the Saturday just gone. Um, we could have put this uh, part of this video up and if we'd have been, if I'd have been working, uh, there would have been a content on, uh, on Saturday. But uh, it's taken me this long um, to, uh, to recover, to be honest. Um, I'm not there yet. I feel not great, um, but I'm probably 100% better than I was two days ago. Um, so I plastered on, when was it? Monday or Sunday? Monday? Oh yeah, Monday. Plastered just the tiny little bits left in this room. Oh gosh, I was like nearly crying. <laughs> I was in such pain. Um, but uh, we needed to get it done because uh, it needed to start drying. So Julian has now been um, dropped onto this bathroom yesterday. He's sanded the floor. So as you can see, the floor is now sanded. And we have different colours. That's the remnants of the, uh, the leak. That's the last little bit to dry. <laughs> as you saw at the start of the video where uh, Ju Julian not tightened the toilet thing properly. Um, so they're the new floorboards, we've just got a bit of filler to put in um, just where the new meets the old, but Julian's now sanded the ridge out um, and then we'll try and do our best to maybe put an extra couple of coats of stain or something on that and just try and make it look not as obvious, but it is going to be obvious, let's be honest, but uh, it won't be the end of the world. Um, so yeah, he's done a good job sanding and then what he's done is it's just started to sand, well, it has sanded down at my request, um, this windowsill, because I'm now going to start filling where this needs a little bit of attention. They're not too bad, they're not the worst windows we've done. Um, so I'll start filling and then shut these shutters um, so this can get hardened up over the next few days. And tomorrow my job is to actually Paint the ceiling. So yeah, that'll be my job tomorrow. And that's using the uh, the Wagner 590 um, sprayer, which, oh, I don't know, I was really enthusiastic about it when we first got it. I do, I've, I've done the dressing rooms practically now as well, so um, I'll show you those another time. Um, but the finish it leaves is brilliant, but it's a pain in the backside to use. It's really heavy. Um, and the other thing as well is it clocks up so easily. Um, so I'm in two minds and I'm just really not looking forward to doing this ceiling tomorrow. But it's either that or roller it. And roller in it, you just, you just don't get the same 
um, coverage color wise there's always lighter and dark streets um, so yeah we'll see we'll see how we go with the Wagner it's for the ceiling it's worth putting up with I might revert to rollers um, for and brushes for walls now which is galling me a bit because uh, I was really hopeful that that uh, sprayer was going to uh, save me a lot of time um, and I uh, should have looked into the weight and everything um, so if you're going to get a paint sprayer my advice is if you're feeble like me then just make sure that uh, it's going to be a weight that you can uh, maintain with for hours and hours because uh, the Wagner surely isn't. So that's the windows filled. It's a bit of a messy job. And um, when I'm doing this, I just make sure that basically there's no gaps um, between the window, uh, the glass in the window, and the uh, the actual wood window frame itself, uh, window panel window <laughs> and uh, it looks a real mess at the moment but what to uh, do is wait for it to completely dry and then just sand it all back and then just check that we've got no gaps and then uh, after all that we paint it and take the cremone off and then we do the cremone and then that's uh, that'll be another window done fingers crossed so thanks so much for watching us guys. Um, so hopefully I'll be a bit better in the next few days. Um, we'll bring you uh, a sort of more upbeat blog on Saturday. <laughs> and uh, hopefully Julian will have mastered another plumbing situation. And uh, we'll have no leaks and yeah, onwards and upwards. That really is gonna have to be our mantra from now on. So thanks for watching guys. See you soon.